Okay, good morning everybody. So today I will perform an architectural review of our Red Hat OpenStack code deployment and also of our OpenShift code deployment. So how we can see here, we have this architecture that we, uh, we deploy in our environment. So let me show you how it looks like. Okay, we have the Red Hat OpenStack well, now it's called Red Hat OpenStack Services on OpenShift because the control plane has now been deployed on OpenShift environment. Okay, so before we move to the website web interface, let's explain all the architecture that we write right now for the Red Hat uh, OpenStack on uh, services on OpenShift. So here. We have two clusters, right? We have the OpenShift cluster, which is uh, deployed with three the control plane node nodes, or three master nodes, and also two workers nodes, as you can see here, okay? And uh, each node have some interfaces that we use of to connect all to the different networks. And uh, besides that, we have also the Red Data OpenStack cluster okay so the new particularity of this uh, deployment uh, i mean the red hat 18 is the fact that of the control plane so formally we have the, the node call controller node okay but right now we don't, we don't have any more the control plane node dedicated on a bare metal or uh, node no the control plane node node now are uh, the control plane node services are uh, now embedded inside of the OpenShift cluster. Okay, so la as you can see here, we have the control plane node which are inside of your OpenStack cluster, pre uh, precisely on the worker node. Okay, I can see, you can see, of course. We can also, if you would like to render your workload on the master node, it is, it is also possible to uh, deploy the control plane node on the master node, possible, okay? But here, yeah, I just choose, choose to deploy those complain, complain, uh, control plane node on the uh, worker node. Okay, great. So now, we have all the above four cluster right now. And uh, regarding the network part, Let's uh, move on the OpenShift part, okay? So this OpenShift cluster have, have connected on the on different networks. We have the network of BMC for the, to permit us to during the deployment. It's important for the for the provisioner to be able to uh, shut down and start up all the different nodes. So this is the purpose of this uh, BFC net network, okay? And uh, I will not talk about the control plane net network for, for, for this moment. I will just talk of, I will talk about it a little later, okay? So let's move on on the another network, which is the provisioning net network. This network is used by your OpenShift to be able to or uh, install of the operating system or during of the deployment of the, of the OpenShift cluster. Okay. And after that, we have, you know, the cluster, uh, the network called the bare metal network. This network will be used by OpenShift to let access to let of the different user to have access to the, uh, to the cluster. Okay. Through the, the, the URL, like uh, this one. Yeah. So it will be through this uh, bare metal network that will be able to have access to your uh, to your OpenShift cluster, as you, as you may see here. Okay. Great. So this is the presentation, and here here I have this client, I call a client, a Windows client, which permit me to have access to the dashboard of my uh, or my OpenShift cluster. Okay. So after that. Okay, this node permit me has permit me to deploy simply this cluster. Okay, this is this node. This node is just here. Let me show you something. This is the node that I use right now to have access to the to the that I used to deploy the cluster, and I use it also. I use it also right now to administrate the cluster. Great. And uh, let's move to the OpenStack cluster now. Okay, so for the OpenStack cluster, 
let me reach sector i have those uh this work this com compute node okay which is uh, on the dedicated parameter node right now and it's connected on the different networks first we have the um, the parameter network we have also the the provisioning uh, no no we have also the uh isolated network that I, the network that i call isolated network i will i will call i will show you why why okay or uh, the isolated switch because in this switcher uh, we have uh, a particular network that i will use to uh, let my uh, computer connected to okay we have the, the tenant network on the vlan uh, 2022 right now so i will just uh, show you that it's possible it's possible to separate physically the different uh, network uh, that are being involved in your or open stack uh, cluster okay because it will, it was it will be possible for me to use only one only one uh, network to let all the traffic traffic going through uh, the network but me uh, in the in the production environment most of the time so we have bonding interfaces we have also uh, some separate uh, separation of the different traffic uh, uh, traffic so i would like to just to show you that it's possible regarding the implementation and configuration to separate uh, the different type of traffic traffic on the different interfaces so i, I, I have done it right now so the born interface right now uh, carry different types of vlan or different type of uh, of uh, yeah a different type of, of villain right now we have a villain 200 uh, right now we have a villain inter internal api we have a, a villain uh, storage okay i will come back to it later we have villain storage very particular storage uh, villain that can permit to let's talk about this first uh, villain 2021 20, 20, uh, okay permit me to let access to the safe storage to uh, permit it to provisioning network uh, storage to the bar for cluster okay so this uh, self storage cluster permit me to have access uh, or to provisioning storage uh, to the both cluster okay through the vlan uh, uh, 21 right now as, as you may you may see this is how what i perform right now and uh, what is else and here also the control plane network permits me to have access to to, to uh, let me uh, the possibility to, to deploy uh, the, the, the cluster so this is uh and when everything has been done and the deployment has been done it is uh very easy it is uh, the, the more the more difficult here is uh, to be able uh, to planning and deploying the uh to planning the deployment of the, of the, of the environment when the planification is done so everything uh, moves very smoothly definitively so this is what i, I really have done we are we used to this battle before before doing this video i just uh, uh, say i really have to i really have to prepare this environmental for you and uh, let you know that's possible or to deploy a new right that open cycle uh, cluster brand new because the, the, the approach of deployment is uh, definitively new and if you like uh, any support for, for from us uh, to deploy uh, this kind of environment, okay, uh, feel free to reach out us uh, in our email address, uh, and I uh, will be able to uh, be proud to help you in this uh, uh, part. So this is it. And uh, let's move on to dashboard. Right now, I have uh, my Red Hat OpenSea services on OpenShift with dashboard. Let me log in. Okay, so right now I just uh, install uh, one or uh, one virtual machine not uh, just for for the testing purpose. Okay, to show you, to show you that it's possible to deploy uh, a new uh, workload on this uh, environment. This is what I have right now. Very simple, easy, and I uh, hope that you will be able uh, you will be able to appreciate it. Okay, and uh, in the next in another new video, I will show you how we, uh, we can deploy uh, this kind of environment. Okay, if you would like, to please let me know in the comments. I mean, I will be able to perform for you another video uh, to let you uh, know about uh, the different uh, deployment process right now. And uh, before which things else I would like to show you, let me show you the different. Uh, 
Okay, let me show you. We can stack the different. Uh, here we can have many. Okay, let me show you the different uh, pods involved in this deployment of OpenStack. Uh, okay, we have so many mod so many nodes uh, pods right now involved in. So. And uh, what else I would like to show you? Yeah, okay. Regarding the net, the network. Okay, I have I've shown the different interfaces, but in the reality, how it looks like. Okay, and uh, let me show you IP link. Uh, so I can see here we have a different uh, VLAN. Okay, for the network segregation, we have a different VLAN that I've been configured on the bone zero, for instance. We have a VLAN uh, 200, okay, and we have a VLAN, VLAN storage. We have also the, another VLAN here. We have an internal API uh, uh, VLAN network so, uh, provisioned through this uh, bond interface. So, same things so for the born one okay we have this another uh, vlan used uh, right now to permit of the uh, uh, project to be able to uh, carry the the network inside of my uh, open stack cluster great so this is uh, what i would like to show you what we see okay let's go on the i would like to go on the Let's go to the worker node. No, the compute node of my OpenStack uh, cluster. The compute node. So as you can see here, we have uh, again uh, uh, and okay i use a different equation for the, to naming the different interfaces okay we have the this bond interfaces okay right now but we carry a different villain okay the villain uh 2021 and also we have another villain let me show you uh the this VLAN, for instance, of Bond Dera, okay, has been uh, linked to this uh, um, 21, yeah, 20, um, yeah, okay. This uh, tenant network so has been uh, uh, carried by the, this uh, VLAN Bond Dera, okay. This is what I have done to perform this deployment. Very interesting deployment, okay? Very interesting deployment and very easy. Uh, definitively, I, when everything is, uh, is deployed, I mean, the, the administration of your cluster is, is very easy. So let me show you the files that I use for this deployment. I have also performed a documentation uh, maybe one day uh, because this documentation is still ongoing regarding the preparation and uh, the updating. Okay, one day maybe, I think in two, in two months maybe I will be able to release uh, this uh, documentation that I performed for this uh, for the deployment uh, step by step. Okay, alors, so let me show you another thing. So. Uh, regarding the deployment files, we have the let me show you the control plane of files that I use for the, the control plane of files that I use for the deployment. Okay, as you can see here, we have the different services, the different control plane services that I intend to have deployed through this file. As you can see here, we have also the self storage integration of a different uh, glance, the self glance, glance services. We have also, uh, you have also integrator 
I'm just going to iron eco. We are also, uh, let me show you another thing for the, the network part. Okay. Okay. For the, yeah, for the network part neutral, for the network part. And uh, we have also Glenso here for the image. We have also for database Galera for the database of the custom. Okay. We have the DNS. Okay. And uh, which things else? Nova for, com for the compute services. Nova. We have also the Cinder. Yeah. For the storage part, for block storage of your infrastructure and also for the, uh, for the backup. Okay. So here is the integration that I've done with a self story cluster right now, as you may see. Okay. And uh, with myself, so, okay. And uh, you use this source story cluster, this storage permit, which, uh, which permit me to let uh, the port of your self storage cluster located uh, inside uh, in, on a specific device. This permit has uh, to uh, be able uh, to uh, separate, uh, okay, the the, world, the the, the place where your OpenStack cluster storage uh, store its pod is it have you have to be different uh, from the average pod of your or from the average workload of your cluster. So it is definitely important to have a separate uh, uh, location uh, place uh, for those pods. This is what I have done right now, right now here. And uh, regarding, let me show you now the data plane part. Okay, this is my data plane of file that I use for the of deploy of the. Um, no, this is deploy. Yeah. Okay, so this is the file I use for deployment of a different uh, node or embedded in, in my uh, data plane, data plane, data plane uh, environment. This is a very interesting approach of deployment. I, I hope that you will be able to reach service uh, this deployment from your side also. Yeah. So this is the file that I use for my deployment right now. Okay. I have both. I have right now two nodes. Okay. We could do compute node in my cluster, as you can see here right now. Uh, so this is it. I hope that uh, this very short video pleased you for it's my first video of this new year. Okay, so uh, I hope that you you appreciate it. So don't forget uh, to like, comment and share, share this video and also subscribe to uh, our channel. This film has to grow. If you think that uh, this information give, that I gave you uh, gave you much more insight about this new version of your of Red Hat OpenStack, uh, please don't forget uh, to to share or to subscribe to this video. Thank you very much and uh, happy new year. Bye from now.